Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania Zone 6. You know, there's kind of a lull in my garden season right now. I've got everything planted, and so, you know, days like or times like this is always a good time to do some question and answer from some of my subscribers. Well, anyhow, a subscriber by the name of Batpat1 asks a good, a good question. And they ask, how do you keep your lettuce from tasting bitter in the warmer weather? So that's a great question, and uh, thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. You also may have noticed that I changed scenery here. I went, moved over here more in the shade because up at my garden, my camera gets really hot from being out in the sun. And so it, my camera wants to shut down uh, if that's the case. And so I moved over here alongside the pond uh, where my camera's in the shade. But anyhow, how do you keep your lettuce from tasting bitter in the warmer weather? So unfortunately, you know, that's just the, the nature of the beast, you could say. You know, lettuce basically is a cool weather crop. Like right now, my, you know, it's it's uh, late spring here. You know, summer's a couple weeks away. My lettuce plants are already starting to shoot up. You know, they're starting to go to, to bolt and go to seed. And yeah, and I can taste the, the difference a little bit in the leaves, that's for sure. But, you know, one way you can delay your leaves from uh, turning bitter maybe is to try to keep them a little cooler. You know, one section of my garden, I have, I do have some three varieties of romaine lettuce under there growing. And I have them growing under my row cover. You know, so it keeps the full sun off of them. You could also interplant your lettuce in between taller plants where they'll, they'll get the shade, you know, in between like your pepper plants or tomato plants. And that way they'll, they'll be cooler in the shade there and uh, they won't tend to, to bolt as quick, you know, but unfortunately that's the, the nature of uh, lettuce is it, it's more of a cool weather crop. You could also plant another crop of that in the, the late fall. You know, that's another reason I also plant um, Swiss chard. You know, Swiss chard is in the spinach family. It's a nice leafy green. And that really doesn't take, turn bitter like the uh, kale does or even your lettuce. And I also plant Malabar spinach in my garden. I've been plant. This is my second year I direct sowed it in my garden. And uh, it's a nice leafy green that goes right through the summer, right up into your, your first hard frost. And so that's another nice leafy green option you could plant uh, in your garden. I, we use the Malabar spinach in our my spaghetti sauce that I can in the fall. And uh, so that, that's a, another great Malabar spinach is a great leaf you can use in your stir fry or soups, you know, and other various recipes. But anyhow, I hope that answers your question. It was a really good question. Unfortunately, it's one of those issues all of us gardeners or most of us gardeners have to deal with. But again, you can, you know, come a couple months, you can, from now, you could start planting an, another crop for the fall season. Well, anyhow, if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the section below. And you can also visit us at PlantSmartLiving.com. And there you can learn more about gardening and also how you can reclaim your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based lifestyle. Well, anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.